drop, gonna drop. What age did you start finding yourself like really diving into the street stuff? Like I know eventually you ended up joining the gang. Like what what about that was appealing to you? Well, um, after my father, my father died when I was twelve. You know what I'm saying? So he left behind a whole bunch of kids, right? And you know my mother had the younger set of kids, and then the older set of us. We just like, I get, I just this is it's a natural instinct to not put pressure on your mother for men, especially. I had one older sister. You know what I mean? But us four boys, the four boys who went to foster care together, we gravitated towards our, our environment, people around us, our surroundings. And, you know, we started hitting the streets as early as 13, 14 years old. I can remember probably 14, nine, eight, nine, seven. I was 14, like nine, seven, nine, eight. I started um, selling crack and right in my building. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It was readily available. I had friends that was doing it, you know, and one of the homies was like, yo, hope. Let's go, let's go partners. They didn't even, he didn't even come at me on some, he was a little older than me, but he even come at me on some, like, yo, you going to work for me now? He's like, let's go partners. And I was like 14 years old. I'm like, all right. And um, it, to me, it alleviated pressure from my moms, you know, to have to worry about us and giving us money and, you know, so yeah. So the, the allure was more of like removing the stress from your mom and not so much like we going to ball right now. Like I, I want to look flashy or anything, get these type of things. Like how was that? Well, for, for me in my mind, in my mind, it was, I, I'm not, I don't, if I could make money and I don't have to ask her for it, I'm going to do it. It was just that simple. Right. Like, I, you know, I'm going to go, there's things that I want as a young teenager that I know she can't buy me because she got to take care of all these kids. So mm -hmm. I'm like, I got a way to make this money. And to do it, like I'm gonna do it. Like that's that's how I was in my mind, you know. So yeah, you know, I wanted, I wanted, I was still a teenager. I was a I was a video game freak. I wanted some video games. Wanted, <laughs> yeah, like I wanted some new nice new sneakers. I want yo, like you know what I'm saying? So so at this time, is she clean? Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. As soon as but, she got out of foster care, I mean she got clean before we she had to to, to get us from foster care. So we we came, we moved to Castle Hill, I believe, nine one. Nine one nine two nine one yeah because my brother was born nine two the next year yeah we moved to castle nine one so she got clean before that so when I started hustling it's like nine seven nine eight um and then at this age are you thinking about like I'm selling the stuff that like my mom got hooked on or is that like something that you process later on in life that you thought about yeah when I mean, you know um I I had I know to, it's tough because when you when you that young it's like you know you don't always understand the gravity of your 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 decisions. Yeah, we we hear we hear things and we we adopt these these quotes like you know if you don't do it somebody else going to do it. I mean, they're going to smoke it anyway. When you right. young, when you like as a grown man now, of course I know that that's not the right. But when you young and impressionable, it's like you can yo, make yourself I, believe anything. I, I gotta get it by any means. And then when like yeah. I went to foster care, like you said, I know what happened to my family. I know my, you know, and then I'm thinking, you know, I'm a Tupac fan. I'm thinking how the system corrupted us, fucked us. Yo, I'm a rebel, fuck the system. I don't care about paying any taxes. I'm gonna make my money how I make it. Like, you know, you, you got you you adopt that attitude, like in the streets, and it that's what happened. Did you uh, ever have any conversations with your dad about entering this kind of lifestyle that he like try to deter you away from it? No, because he was, he was, um, he died when I was 12. We didn't even think about this type of lifestyle. This shit wasn't even, mm. it wasn't even a reality. Like I was, tw I was 12. Like it wasn't <laughs> even like my father, that if, if he would have been alive, no way. I, I'd have been a drug dealer. No way. Like that. He was real. Um, he was a general man. He was solid. Like he ain't play that. Right. And then, um, so is it just you at first going into the street life or is it your, all your brothers with you? Well, I'm um I'm the fourth child, and I, I would say like you know, you know my older cousins hit the streets, then my older brothers hit the streets, and I na naturally followed like that. 